All right then. <laughs> well, I don't have any other solution, Taylor. I am the solution. More of the problem. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Taylor Talk. Why does it episode again? Anyway, maybe it is becoming an episode. Is my life even real? No. I pay him good money to be here. Yes, um, <laughs> It's a potential joke. Today I brought Jack. I don't know why Hi. I bought him. And then, go well, we are talking about the fact that I pay for you. This is a horrible intro. But basically, I found a bunch of questions on the internet and a bunch of questions you guys have asked in previous times I've asked to do the boyfriend tag and what you want to hear. And I combined them all together to the perfect boyfriend tag. The questions are and myth in. So the first question is the classic, how did we meet? You should tell a story. Uh, well, we met at Yaya's. Yaya's, which is? A club in Melbourne. <laughs> And she was being a photographer for a band, and I saw her, and it's, that's pretty much it. This is such Talking a dry there. conversation. I saw yeah. her, and she was yeah. there, and that's pretty that's much it. Kind of it. Yeah, <laughs> basically it. He didn't see me across the dance floor, and the spotlight hit me right there, mm. and <laughs> there was no spotlight. I couldn't take her. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. She was stunning. My recollection of that night is the fact that you started talking to me, and then you bought me drinks in the whole night. And that's the quickest way to my heart. <laughs> yeah, get, get a blackout drunk. <laughs> I wasn't blackout drunk, okay, I don't get like that. But like a Jack and Coke, oofed. Oofed. The next question is, where was our first date? Well, last time I told you about this, you were indifferent. Because I said it was at the faux place. But do you count that as our first date? Because I remember you being like, it's not a first date. I guess it counts as our first date then. You have an opinion. And you just keep your mouth shut. I don't know, I feel like technically it wasn't. Our first date? When was our first date then? It was just a convenient meal we were sharing together. Which Ladies! <laughs> sounds like a date. If, if he goes, what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go get a meal with me? That happens to be Vietnamese Pho. And then you go, yeah sure, and he pays for it. Is that not a date? Disagree to disagree and move on to the next question. It's a date. <laughs> but when was that? When do you think our first time? First Honestly, date? I can't remember. Exactly, because it was both case to close. Why do you think you were attracted to me? So in this Yaya story, beams across, spotlight on me. What was drawing you to me? Interesting question. <laughs> she looked fun. And that blue <laughs> hair. <slight. laughs> and that, that blue hair. Just tells me a story. I'm very glad this this like YouTube channel doesn't didn't see the blue hair face. They saw the green hair face, but they didn't see the blue one. Mm. And so it didn't exist. What attracted me to you? When I first saw you, I saw you looking down at your phone, and I'd, all I saw was hair. You just had so much hair. Because when his hair's out, it's like, and it, you can see it flap in the wind, like. It's a lot, but it's great because <laughs> I've never ever lost him in the mall. That attracted me initially and then like during that night, like the first interaction kind of thing, like when we were at Yaya's, you were very confident. At one point he like went up to the DJ and requested a song and the DJ played it straight away, which I think was a fluke because the DJ was just excited. But I was hella impressed because <laughs> he was like walking down and his song starts and I was like, Jesus, like... Either he knows these people, or he's a fucking boss man. And boss, <laughs> you could experience my big dick energy. And he's like, I better do it. I could feel it across the room, and it, like obviously confidence is key. At what point did you decide to make us official? I guess it was technically when I asked you to move down. You're telling me we were boyfriend and girlfriend before then. Were we? Yes. Yeah, but I feel like you asked me to move in January. I asked you to be my boyfriend in November. Interesting. That's like two whole months of being official. This explains well, our relationship so much. Um, oh, did was that a real thing? Oh, I guess it is a real thing now. Like, well, how real can it be if you don't live, you know, in the same state? Wow, are you gonna pull a loss and dole on me? Well, well it's yeah. not cheating if you're in different states. I mean, no. <laughs> was there a point in time where you're like, oh, I think this girl's my girlfriend? Because we were. I mean, I asked you in November. We started seeing each other in September. That's a real fucking chunky amount of time. Where you could have been like, I think this girl should be my girlfriend. Even though you pussied out until I asked. Well, time is a construct. He's probably like, I didn't think about it that I hard. didn't really think about it that hard. When was the first time I said I love you? When was the first time you said I love you? Christmas? Yes, you told Christmas. me at Christmas. <laughs> should I give my story? No. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. What is my best personality trait? You're caring. I would definitely say that's it. Yeah? Yeah, your, I'd say your best personality trait is the fact that you care so much. Your best personality trait, you're funny for the most part, 
your probably best your best person personality turn out of the one of them is probably I feel like you're pretty considerate. So if I make a suggestion on something to do, even though I don't do that often, or like, you know, if I want to show you a show or something, you're normally pretty down. It's pretty rare when you say no True. to something. Do you believe in soulmates? I guess I don't really believe in soulmates. Savage. I, I'll, I'll just... <laughs> like, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I can believe like they're the one for you, but I don't really believe in soulmates. I have Because isn't that, isn't soulmates like the thing where it's like, oh, you're born for each other? I guess. You, I like mean, it's, destined it's, to be together. It's, I, don't, yeah. I don't really believe well, in that. Well, are we not destined to be together? We met when I was in Melbourne. Like when I, because I don't live in Melbourne. On like the second last day of like being there, even though being there for a week and blah, 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 blah. is that not destiny? Is it? Comment no. down below. <laughs> the fact that <laughs> I have the mentality of like you have more than one soulmate. Like, you know, you have soulmates in your life for different reasons, blah, blah, blah. So, like, you have a best friend soulmate, you have a, like, you have your boyfriend soulmate, and you can probably have, like, multiple relationships in your life that are soulmates. So, it's, like, your souls connect. It's not the fact that, like, it's only one. I picked this question because I wanted us to answer each other's as a guess. It said, what grade did I have my first kiss? Right. With I don't believe I've ever talked about my first kiss with you, and I don't know if you've ever talked about it with me. I believe you're a hussy. <laughs> and then... No, I'm assuming you had it in primary school, and it was probably like in grade four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure grade four, or like five. When she's such a good guesser. When was mine? For keep in mind that I was morbidly obese. Yeah, probably. Incredibly like, depressed. <laughs> probably 17, 18. Rude, no. 16 youngest? I was in year nine. So 15. So, I think so. And it was with my neighbor's best friend. Ooh, interesting. Yep, and it was a dare. <laughs> yeah. No one willingly kissed me that's, until that, like... That sounds right, to be honest. You'd have to be dared to kiss her. What part of your body is your favorite? You're going to answer what I think is my favorite part of my body, and I'm going to answer what your what I think yours is. Can I go first? Yeah. Can I guess yours? Yeah. Your collarbones. I do enjoy my collarbones. It's not my favorite part of my body, though. It's just my jawline. Jawline? I don't like this thing, but like... Be able to like have a jawline is pretty fucking incredible. Beth. Your favorite thing about you is probably your shoulders because you told me that women like sexy shoulders. Yes. And I, I like your true. shoulders. Statistically speaking, 64% of women love shoulders. I didn't really love shoulders until I saw yours. Shoulders. shoulders. Because so if you go into the gym, honestly, drop everything else, focus on the shoulders. That's all you need. What I like about his shoulders is that, is that he looks like an upside down Dorito. <laughs> so his shoulders are like whoop and then it comes in and then he has the bottom. It's nice. Very like, I don't know. Maybe it's like a masculine thing and so I'm actually attracted to it. Okay, we're up to our last question. If you were stuck on a desert island with me for a day, what would you do? Swim away. So <laughs> no, fucking no, 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 road. No, no. Real answer? I'll just make a hammock. Big enough for two people. I'm glad I'm considered in this plan. Uh, no, Jesus. We're, we're just hammock our days away. See, I would rather go exploring the island. If, I mean, if I'm only going to be there for a day. Let's go climb sure a tree or something, you know? You reached the end of this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you want more videos with this thing. Um, and <laughs> until next time guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.